Slay J here from Talk Nerdy to Me. Since today is National Cinema Day, I'm here to talk nerdy to you about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem. This movie starts off 15 years in the past and tells a little bit of an origin story on Superfly, played by Ice Cube. Giancarlo Esposito voices Baxter Stockman, the creator of what we know as the Ooze. Let's jump ahead 15 years. We are introduced to the Ninja Turtles who are voiced by actual teenagers. Let me just say, the teens were great, very witty, and you could tell it was a legit brotherhood. We are then introduced to Splinter, voiced by Jackie Chan. He gives us a quick breakdown of the Turtles' origin story. They did change up Splinter's backstory. It wasn't bad, but it did skew away from what we know. Moving forward, the Turtles are introduced to April O'Neil. I enjoyed her character. They made her a teen, which was a change up to the original story, but it was very welcomed. She was funny and witty, just like the Turtles, so they had instant chemistry. There is a deeper side of the Turtles. They just want to be part of the world, to be seen, to be heard. You can sense a fear of rejection and heartbreak. This hit home for me. I know any one of us can relate to this sentiment. We all want to be accepted. We want to be acknowledged and respected. This was the overarching theme throughout the movie, and it was a great one. Just like with any hero movie, we are met with adversity, a sort of redemption approach. Bebop, who was voiced by Seth Rogen and Rocksteady, voiced by John Cena, were not a huge part of the movie, but they did lend a hand to the redemption arc. Some standout performances, I would definitely have to say Superfly. He was a great villain, and I really felt like Ice Cube took command of the role and did a fantastic job. Mondo Gecko, voiced by Paul Rudd, had a limited role, but each scene he lent himself to was fantastic. He definitely passed the vibe check. This movie is definitely geared towards Gen Z, but I feel like anyone can enjoy it. My only complaints were the animation. You could definitely tell that this was a Nickelodeon movie. And there's a scene that involves unnecessary vomiting. It was just gross. Overall, the overarching theme of trying to fit in and the witty turtles banter is what makes this movie a must-see.